Hey guys. I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. What's, What's up, up everyone? everyone? Hello. Hi. Hey. Um <laughs> Do you remember how how we get accused sometimes of d- being drunk every episode? <laughs> And by accused, we mean zero <laughs> time. Just hyper aware of it ever since one time someone said something. I think it was at least three. But regardless, <laughs> here's the episode where you're going to find out how how sober we usually are. <laughs> because accidentally, <laughs> accidentally. On purpose. Accidentally on purpose. What's it called when you accidentally purposely do something? <laughs> accidentally on purpose, we decided to have a good time. For once in our lives. <clears throat> and to be fair, it's not my fault that it the, wasn't either of our faults. The staff know we, us and, and they loved us. Decided to give us a shot. We don't take shots. Remember, everyone? I wouldn't even take them on my bachelorette. Well, guess what? I can't say no to it. I can't say no to servers. <laughs> she can't say no to someone's face when it's a gift. She can't look a gift horse in the mouth. No, she takes a gift horse shot. <laughs> <laughs> I call her a gift horse. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a. She's not a literal horse. Okay, as long as she knows. <laughs> she was so nice, but well, she did yeah. give us shots. And then she's like, don't leave. I have a surprise for you. It's a metaphor. You dumb bitch. (laughs) Here's our best shot. And I was like, "Uh (laughs) uh-oh. So anyways. So anyways, here we are. This entire episode sucks, but. (laughs) (laughs) Do you see two Mosby heads on my boobs covering my nipples? (laughs) Just know that I'm entirely too hot to wear what I wore. And I also peed my pants. Okay, here's the deal. We both peed ourselves. I am still wearing the clothes I peed in. (laughs) I don't have an option. I don't have my wardrobe here, Jerry. I changed today. I have to sit my piss pants on the couch. (laughs) And I I sat my pee pants all day. So here's a weird thing that happened. As we were leaving the establishment that we went to get dinner and accidentally got drunk. It was so bizarre because, again, I don't think that we because get... Because what happens? You drink two IPs and you get drunk? What's well, that about? Well, definitely if they're pumpkin... It, uh, they were pumpkin. What's they, what that What were they about? called? Like, what's the boob? deal with airline food? <laughs> <laughs> they were called, like, boo bears or boo something. Boo thing. Boo thing. Boo thing. Yeah. I don't give a who what you do, say girl. And I couldn't I say no to that. Tell them on, tell them on next. Tell them on, tell them on. However, then we left the establishment... <laughs> And a fucking car was like, honk, 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 honk. <laughs> like as they were turning, turned into the wrong lane. If which they I'm were like, gonna, if oh there was goodness. another car, Shh. I was like, what are you do? What are you doing? There would have been a head-on collision. And we were like, hey, don't do that. And then I think we started laughing <laughs> because there wasn't a collision, but we were just like shocked by what the fuck just happened, and we were like, what's happening and, and also then, there was a part of me that was like do we know them and because i looked at them dead in the face that i didn't know them so like do you know me i don't know but then the car behind them was like honk, 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 honk. <laughs> and when that one happened because i wasn't prepared uh, i wasn't prepared for one but i certainly wasn't prepared for two i collapsed oh, my legs gave out this bitch hit the deck i fell onto the cement and just peed <laughs> she's rolling on the ground going i peed I peed. <laughs> and then goes, what she, the fuck? She has to get up and we walk past this man who smells heavily oh, like he was having marijuana. He was having his flower friend out for a date. <laughs> and he goes, are, are you, you guys, good? Are you guys good? And I was like, no, <laughs> sir. Are you <laughs> or any of us? Can Sorry, I-, I fell on the ground, but that was funny. Did you see it? <laughs> Can I tell you? I collapsed like a puppet. A bitch, I saw. I was like, I can't help you here. So you're either going to have to get your sea legs or I got to move on. I'm okay. going to leave you. Yeah. So I want you guys to know that last night at 4 a.m. after Ollie had woken me up for, I don't know, something. he Last night this morning. Yeah, he was wearing safety glasses <laughs> and he really wanted to know where they went. And I was like, you don't. They're not good for sleeping. That's all I need to Your tell you. Your kid has them, like, 
the wildest sleep schedule sometimes. <laughs> I, I he's know. just like up for good. He's, he's just a like, construction worker at his core. He just is sleeping and then he's like, <gasps> where's <laughs> my sunk? My construction Where, glasses. Where's my safety goggles? <laughs> and my sandblaster. I can't sleep. <laughs> so Seriously. I'm laying there and I get a download from the universe. Okay. And the download is my speech for Sierra's wedding. She's my okay? maid of honor. I kept hearing it over and over and over again in my head. That's and how I'm I like, wrote my vows. I think I'm supposed to just get up and write these. Yeah. So I did. But then I was so fucking tired, but I couldn't go back to sleep. Anyway, I read it to Shane today because I'm like, there's a chance that this doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> it's not going to land well. <laughs> yeah, but it did. It was okay. actually great. Good. And I said, it was really, this is what I said to Shane. This is what I was going to tell you. It was really important to me that I didn't do traditional bridesmaid a traditional bridesmaid speech. Okay? See, I don't go to weddings a lot, so I don't know what is traditional. So, th- well, there's a lot of like, I don't know if there's some kind of a, a like a like a script online that people follow, uh, but a lot of times in my experience, they all say the same thing. Okay, okay. Um, and so I said to Shane, I was like, I didn't want to do something like everyone else that was like, for everyone who doesn't know me, I'm Jerry. Yeah. I'm Sierra's cousin, and we've been friends <laughs> for 32 years. <laughs> Yes. Except for that year we didn't talk. <laughs> Remember? We don't, we, we, don't, we don't talk about it. It still hurts. Remember when it fucking hurt for both of us for so long? <laughs> we worked through the pain. <laughs> we don't talk about it. I told my therapist. Ah, <laughs> we don't talk about it. No. Okay. So, okay. We've been through so much together. Yeah. Except for that one year. <laughs> where we worked. <laughs> Anyway, I did that whole. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Ignore it. I did that whole bit with Shane, and then I said I was going to do it with you, but it's not like that. No, but it, okay. <laughs> My speech isn't like that. It's good. <laughs> well, tell me it. She can't tell me this shit without me being like, no, I need. To I know can't it. tell you what it is. Well, You're going to be caught know. off guard. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you right now. Damn it. Maybe I'll read it in the future to them, but I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to play a game. <laughs> Just you could actually put the speech in right here, and I'll never know because I don't, <laughs> listen, I don't watch our episodes that's or listen true. ever. That's true. She doesn't. So leave it. If you do, she does read YouTube comments, though. So <laughs> go ahead and post. Fucking religiously. <laughs> Please tell me what a piece of shit alcoholic I <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead and post what I said in my speech <laughs> for her to read. And you know what I mean by post what I, you know what to write. Okay, can I tell you how stupid I am? Okay, this is a complete pivot from that. <laughs> so I used to teach, right? Okay, no, I never knew this about you. I used to teach <laughs> biology. What? Okay? I used. To I teach, actually didn't know that about um, you. I used to teach uh, environmental science as mm. well. Okay, so. I fancy myself smart, I guess, in some stuff. Well, that makes okay? one of us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm taking a walk with my children. Yes. All right? The smartest thing a human can do <laughs> because activity is important. <laughs> so Ollie is like, we're, we're looking at the trees, right? And I'm like, yes. that's a maple tree. You can <gasps> tell by the shape of the leaves. We're actually on this walk, this very walk that we're on, we're going to pass a, an oak tree. It's a bit different. The yes. leaves are shaped differently. I'll explain that to you when we get there. The maple trees have the little helicopters that come down. And yes. as you can see, some of these leaves have already started to change color. That happens <gasps> in the fall. They change color and the leaves fall off because they're dying. <laughs> <laughs> and then the trees are bare until spring when they get new buds. New ones. And Ollie says, why? Because that's apparently the only fucking word toddlers know. Oh. Okay? And I said, well, and here's where I was stupid. <laughs> I said, there's something called photosynthesis. Uh-oh. Okay. And photosynthesis uses light and water and soil to create energy. energy. And that is what creates life within the plant. And the green in the plant <laughs> is created by something called chloroform. <laughs> It's chlorophyll, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> chlorophyll is like you used to, to kidnap people. <laughs> I know. And I, I literally said to 
him. All he took from that was chloroform. <laughs> I guarantee he's going to tell his teachers chloroform. <laughs> I know. And I said, so when, so chloroform is what makes <laughs> the leaf. <laughs> Is he what, doubled down on chloroform. Is what makes the leaves green, and then eventually, when the leaves run out of chloroform, they turn purple. <laughs> Much like the person does <laughs> when you put in the rag to their mouth <laughs> when you take away their oxygen. It's a cycle. It's a cycle, buddy. You'll learn. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's I said chloroform. I was like, that can't be right. <laughs> but I don't say anything because I don't want to draw attention to the, the fact, fact that, that I, I fucked up. Because then he will say chloroform for the rest of his life exactly. to every teacher he's ever met. Exactly. So, so it wasn't until dinner tonight <laughs> that I made sure that it was chlorophyll, <laughs> not chloroform. Were you googling that while we were at dinner? Yes. I wonder, there's so many things that I was like, what are you doing over there? And you're like, shut the fuck up. I'll tell you about it on the podcast. I was like, oh, okay. Googling the difference between chlorophyll and chloroform. I do feel smart that I knew that it was chlorophyll. <laughs> That's impressive. In my defense. My kid's a science boy. It's, so I do know it's a little not bit about that far off. It's of not. Work. It's not. Chlorophyll, chloroform. Form. It's like very syllable. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, God. Listen, leave me alone. Can you? That's all I had. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. I don't know if I have anything. Okay. Do I? You don't have to. <laughs> I have stuff I could tell you, but I won't. Why? I could have told you at dinner, but you didn't. Yeah, I forgot. Rude. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> okay. Um. You want to do Sims things? I would love to do Sims things. Let's just talk about the Sims in general Let's for a do minute. That. Um, because I feel like it's having a resurgence in our audience again, and I really am happy about it. Yeah, no, no, no. And I don't think we realized how much... Th- I always knew the Sims were popular, but I didn't know like what it did for people. Oh, for sure. And it's funny because I didn't realize until recently... That I really played all of the different Sims games. I got all the exi- expansion well, packs that I could. As I many was, as you could afford or was, was gifted to you. <laughs> I was poor when I was younger. Yeah. More now. But in no, the, I know back it, in the day. As someone who was not um, in poverty, I would say I was definitely like m- solid middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I, even I had to choose like between expansion packs. Like they what were I wanted. Yeah, yes. they were like 30, 40 bucks even yes. back then. It, it was, was like crazy. The cost of base game. And I used to get so excited for Christmas because Santa would bring me an expansion pack or two. That was what I always asked for. It yes. was like Sims expansion packs. But anyways, I always still, even though I'll fuck around with the expansion packs for a little bit, I always play like the same way. Yes. So it's so fun. To branch out and see different players on YouTube or or read or or <laughs> <laughs> fuck. I have to pee again. God damn you. I'm sorry. So I used to play only one way and then and then I figured out from um Reddit threads and YouTube videos that there's so many ways. There are so many play. ways. And the more that I'm in you know, I love a Facebook group. So mm-hmm. I've been in a lot of Facebook groups and a lot of things. Of the such, <laughs> like the more that I'm in it, the more I'm like, ooh, <laughs> I like how you're playing. I still don't think I can though. It's very like I get like weirdly attached to my Sims. Well, like the Sim that I just created not long ago became an elder because I was like, okay, normally I shut off all aging and I just uh-huh. age them up when I want them to. People play on like fast lifespans, wild. But like I played on normal and even I'm like, oh my God, she's an elder now. What the fuck? I just made her. She was a young adult. I I don't understand. Do you always start with young adult? Normally. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Normally just one. And I try to like create them a life. Uh Uh-huh. Sometimes a family. Um, But do you fuck around much with Agnes Crumplebottom? (laughs) (laughs) I can honestly say never. Really? Who the <laughs> fuck is that? I, well, I do fuck around with the goths. You the don't goths know Agnes Crumplebottom? have my fucking hort. Agnes Crumplebottom? You have cottage life. I or do. Or cottage living. Yeah, I fuck the two guys that are in a relationship all the time. Brant and Brent. Yeah. I love them. Yeah, but. In every sim thing I've had since then, 
they at least flirt, if not have they, sexual relations with one of the guys. They are so fuckable, but I I feel upset every time I upset their marriage because I, I know, want them because to be they're together. They're so sweet, sweet. They but really also, are. they're so hot. They are so hot. They're, but, it's like a cry. It's <laughs> not my fault. <laughs> it's criminal. Agnes Crumplebottom. And he's a fucking vet. So every time I take my Who's sick. Who's a vet? The Brant Brent. Brant owns the vet clinic. So every time I take my. My sick cat Gucci before she kicked the fucking <laughs> in the Oh, you guys were there. But my cat Gucci died. You told them about, because Gucci on, died right after Chance. On Patreon, no. I did. Yes. No. Well, you just edited it, and it was for the Patreon. No, I edited Patreon yesterday, and you were here. No. Either way. <laughs> so Gucci kicked the hay. But before, she had a lot of illnesses. She was at the vet a lot. So you were there a lot with... Is it Brent? Brant, I think. Brent? Brant? Because one of them's a bodybuilder. It was the one that with the darker hair. He owns a vet clinic? He did. He does in my Sims game. And <laughs> I he flirts with because I'm a global superstar. Does he have a beard? <laughs> what? I'm a, I'm a pop star. I am an <laughs> internet sensation. <laughs> okay. Because I have the Get Famous. One. Well, maybe he has a different occupation because you have different expansion packs than me. Could be. Could he be. does not own a vet clinic in mind. He doesn't. Okay. No, he he is he's a tr- personal trainer. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Anyway, sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> Agnes Crumplebottom. <laughs> Agnes Crumplebottom. Angus. <laughs> like the Angus piece. songs and troubled snogging or whatever. <laughs> so. Agnes Crumplebottom, I think, runs like a flower shop in Cottage Living. She's a fucking she. She has like the. But listen, yeah. If she if she sees people like PDAing <gasps> in public, she beats the shit out of them with what? her purse. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like that's someone you'd like to fuck with in The Sims. I didn't know but that. What, but what I want you to know is I have watched a lot of guess who Plumbella <laughs> their videos, and love that shit. One, the history of Agnes Crumplebottom <laughs> is her husband. They were about to start a family, and her husband died. <gasps> but he didn't die. He, was a ghost. he faked his death. What? And he, the theory is that he's come back in the fucking horse ranch pack as <gasps> the wine guy, nectar guy. Oh. That's because the only pack he, I don't have, I feel. He can drink the vitality nectar, and so he's immortal. <sighs> what? So here's Agnes, who's fucking bitter because her one true love is dead, and so she's hating everyone who is in love, of and course. she's just, like, mean. Oh, so she gets mad if you're... I thought she got mad at PDA if you were cheating, but just any PDA. Any. If Agnes. you try and flirt with her, she goes, you trying to get fresh with me? <laughs> and then she <laughs> beats you with her purse. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I think I just sold her a lot of my llama fur, so I didn't Probably. know that much about her. She loves her. a cross stitch. Yes. So. Yes. Anyway, that's it. Are you going to fucking throw up? <laughs> Don't do that. I won't. Okay. I haven't thrown up in a very long time, unless it's by the hands of my own hands. <laughs> These hands, they are my own. I will say the Not last time... Yours. The last time I threw up that was like a spontaneous, like I didn't make myself, very long time ago. Did you make yourself after? Mm-hmm. Oh. I do almost any time that I feel really nauseous to the point where I know it's going to come. I don't like- Trigger warning. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, trigger warning. I don't like spontaneous- <laughs> like Spontaneity. Exor- exorcism throw uppings. <laughs> like- spontaneous- excrementing out of my face. <laughs> so very much like how as an adult I can tell when I'm going to fucking pass out so I just lay on the ground. Yeah. I can definitely Is that what you did earlier? No. <laughs> that was my legs just gave out because I was going to piss myself and my, my I think my body was just like it, I'd rather you die. <laughs> I'm going to go home wearing something completely different than what I left it and Shane's going to be like what, what happened? The fuck. <laughs> what happened here? Anyway, but um yeah, I will just, if I feel like nauseous to the point where I know it's going to happen, but it won't happen yet, I'll just make it happen. And I know somebody's going to say, don't do that. It messes with your esophagus. I know. I've tried to stop. <laughs> but I can't. Because 
because I hate feeling nauseous. I do probably need anti-nausea pills. I don't mind throwing up. I hate feeling nauseous. Anyways, okay, let's talk We're about Sims. We're going to talk things. about the Sims, guys. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about Sims, baby. Let's talk, talk about, about you and me. me. All right, so our free, free, <laughs> our flavor. Flavor. I got flavor. <laughs> we got to do an episode on like old school reality shows. Okay. Or movies. I actually had a thought. Or, or, <laughs> I had a thought. If we ever wanted to branch out and do another podcast. Although I think it would be weird if we did it with you and I still. Okay. But maybe. You never know. Are you trying to get rid of me? No, because um, I know Morbid does a second one. The two of them. Oh. But they do it completely different. What if we did like a movie review? Or like oh. a real. We watched a show. Reality show. From like the early 2000s. I feel like that Reactive? was the most. Yes. Those are those are bonkers. There, there's. It's very. I remember watching them in the moment and being like, this is fucking crazy. But now watching it in the progressive times that we're living in. And I'm like, what the fuck? Who, is who allowed this on television? <laughs> yeah, know. no, for sure. Wow. Who, who was in on the budgeting meeting for this? But also. Such a fun time. <laughs> Kind of wild <laughs> because anything goes. Yeah, well, it's also fun to go to the zoo. <laughs> I love the zoo. <laughs> Let's try no. to put every animal in a cage. Oh, that's true. <laughs> okay, I didn't see the analogy you were making. Here we go. So, anyways, I got a ranker list of um, r- 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 ranker. <laughs> yes, of just like funniest. Sims stories that yeah. um, people have shared, and they're not very long because I didn't want to give you full fan fiction. It's a lot. I fucking love Sim stories, and I told Sierra another fun one if we wanted to continue doing this because again, a lot of you have like let us know that you enjoy the Sims. Is um doing like a game where it's like, is this a Sims story or is this a real, real life, life fucking bonkers news story? And you'll kind of get that with these because they write them as if they're the person doing it, which is funny it. because when I play The Sims, I speak aloud. Yes. <laughs> and you know this. Yes. And Corey knows this because he gets so mad because he's like, I'll gasp. And I'm like, what? He's like, what happened? I'm like, my husband just fucking cheated on me with a man <laughs> again. And he's like what <laughs> she'll do this at the office all the time she'll like make a sound where i'm like <gasps> concerned for our business and then she's playing the sims <laughs> I'm like sorry 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 uh you were i did get my work done and i'm so sorry i am playing <laughs> yeah. this while i wait for you to upload that sorry <laughs> okay so this one says i moved into a new house and there was a grave in the backyard i walk out to the grave every day and i cry over the loss of whoever it was so it's an unnamed grave, just like crying. that happens so fucking often mm-hmm. in The Sims, where mm-hmm. people are just like mourning, mourning someone they don't even know. What? Yeah. So I've never met this person, but I assume there's someone worth crying over. Here's a question. I'm so sorry to interrupt you okay. so quickly. Are we the fucking weirdos for not crying over people, or are they the fucking weirdos for, for crying, crying over, over everybody? Yeah. You mean like in real life or in The Sims? Because my Sims cry over fucking everything. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like my are Sims have weird? been mourning their dead animal for way longer than I've mourned mine. <laughs> are we weird for that, or are they? No, d- uh, probably me. I know for sure my emotions are fucked up. Like when I when I hear you reading that, and they're like, I don't even know who this person is, but I'm mourning the fact that their life is lost. Mm-mm-mm. That to me, I'm like, that makes sense. Of course, how sad. But I know if it, I well, first of all, I would never move into somewhere with a had a fucking <laughs> cemetery on on the land. <laughs> yeah, no, certainly yeah. not. Did I tell you I almost did move into a house that, with the cemetery as like the backyard? You're shitting me. I'm not kidding. It was like. It was grandma where grandma's buried. What? I swear. Shane and I where walked fuck- in. Oh, okay. I swear. So we walk into this house <laughs> and it's beautifully like updated, quote unquote. It's still kind of small. Yeah. I mean, we couldn't afford much of anything. And so like this you- was before you moved into the one you're in. Yes. Okay. So we walk in and to the left is like a kitchen net type area to the right is where we would like put a couch and then down the hall there was like bedroom bedroom bathroom yeah okay but every window that you looked at 
out of was like cemetery. Ah! <laughs> That's like one of the big bigger ones. It, yeah, I mean it's like I mean, right it's in the middle, middle of town. Of town. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, I feel that like you could you could not make this house pretty enough for me to ignore the fact that there's <laughs> there are cemetery. dead people right there. <laughs> yeah. Some people would love that. It's not for me. Are there people who would want it? Like that's a chosen? Yes. Let me know. Let us know in the comments below if you're like. If you like feel comfortable. I know there's some people that like go to cemeteries of people they don't know to just feel like really good. That's They'll just have like lunches there. Fascinating. No. I want to know like, what's, cool. that, what's that about? No. I don't, I'm not judging it. I'm just saying I don't understand it as someone who like couldn't be me. And no, I am sca- curious if it is you. I don't want to say that it scares me, but I think with everything that's happened with the Debbie thing, um, the unknown does frighten me a little. It's just not pretty. Not comforting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It might be some I shit, would say but I'm like, it doesn't feel homey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to look out and see trees, not graves. <laughs> now, I don't think that makes you a bad person. What if you look out and it's a graveyard? But it's trees. Here's the thing. Okay, that's fine. But what I what is gonna harsh my it probably vibe is is like if there's people standing at the grave crying, and I look out and I'm trying to enjoy my souffle <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> I'm eating a, I'm eating a thick brekkie here, and I'm looking out at you crying. Somebody's crying about their dead grandma. Yeah, that's gonna make me very sad. Yeah, or <laughs> or or imagine it's. God forbid, Uh-oh. thank you for your service, a military person, and they're just fucking shooting a guns. A 21 gun <laughs> salute. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Outside of your house. No. They did that for my grandpa, and I remember my cousin walked up to me, he's like, do you want a bullet from grandpa's <laughs> funeral? I have it. <laughs> <laughs> of, course, of course I do. <laughs> what a stupid question. There's 21 of these. Give me at least one. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Where the fuck was I? Okay, um, I've never met this person, but I assume they're someone worth crying over. I cry in bed, then I play games online, and I feel happy again. <laughs> After a good night's sleep, I walk out to the grave, and I mourn the loss of this unknown person once again. <laughs> On an unrelated note, a ghost keeps coming into my house at night, and I fucking hate them. <laughs> Probably the same person, homie. <laughs> it is. That's why I thought that was funny. Bombity? Is that the end of it? That's it. I love these are short like that where yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. because a lot of Sims. <laughs> I know for me, a lot of them are once they get to that point where I'm like, "What the fuck?" I just I get ADHD takes the better of me, and I create a new game, new people, and then See, those people never get never uh, get have their ending. I mean, goodbye. You know, yeah. what can I do for you? Well, that's why the majority of the ones that I do is just build houses and then I move on. Yeah, except I had that. But those people that I really cared about, that one person who she kept fight, fist fighting, Thomas, at the Fayette <laughs> County Fair. <laughs> yes. Then she married a woman. So awesome. They adopted here, here. a sweet little baby. And then having a toddler was too much with all the chickens and the llamas and the cows. So I was like, I can't. <laughs> Goodbye. This is too much responsibility. I have to start this anew. Is, this is where I leave you. <laughs> and then I had a new family. She was forever single. That was literally... Her her lifestyle was single and loving it. <laughs> okay. She had science baby first. Uh-huh. She had a science baby with herself. It was basically a clone, but it was a boy. Right. Her second child, she fucked Santa Claus when he came for Christmas. Right. Father Winter. Is that what he's called? Yes. He came for Winterfest. He, he fucked him. He, he, <laughs> he definitely came for Winterfest. Um, and guess what? I just found out his daughter, who is now growing into, she's almost a teen. She has a special thing that's like Father Winter's child, and she's got like a special magical thing. Oh, really? I don't know what it's going to be, but it does say like a little special quirk that she Interesting. has. Interesting. She has a special trait. Mm-hmm. Interesting. She's Father Winter's. But yeah, now my sim that I did all that with is a elder, and I'm like, you're going to die, bitch. You about to die. So who are you going to want to play with? The, the daughter or the daughter? You want to play with the daughter? I do. Because I don't like playing with guys. I don't know what's weird. I, yeah. It's like a weird... I've never had a household that was just a male. I said that as well. The only time that I would have a male is if they were gay. 100%. Yeah. But it doesn't like... But that doesn't mean because I want to have a partner who's a guy, because if I'm playing with a woman... <laughs> <laughs> They're with a, a woman also as well. A woman. Yes. 
<laughs> so That's true. I don't maybe know what just, it is. <laughs> maybe it's just like I just always want to be with women. <laughs> well, the guy I would. Oh no, you want with, to be with a guy? Yeah. I don't know. See, when I, I make them gay, I I make them have relationships, but not never married. Really? Well, with a guy. Again, I just don't think I want to marry men. <laughs> In The Sims. I don't know. I how marry to break women it. all the time. I was gonna say I don't know how to break this to you. <laughs> not well, a great really a relevant re- revelation. <laughs> little little late for that. Little little. Oh, oh. So they call me. They call me little little late for that. <laughs> What's there? Okay, we're good. Are we good on time? I just restarted it. Well, then you're gonna like this one. This one made me giggle. Okay. Because I just know, I don't know, by the way, I don't know if all these are Sims 4 or if they're a combo of the different packs. So, like, some of them did have glitches like this. So, I think you'll like this. Okay, ready? I graduated high school about a month ago and have since become a pretty famous and prolific author. I'm thrilled. But it gets better. There's a gnat on my screen. (laughs) Get out of there. It gets better. I had a good friend in elementary school named Wilhelmina Wolf, who I hadn't spoken to in at least a week. She called yesterday out of nowhere, and she so wanted so long, <laughs> so long, at least a week. In the Sims time, That's a in a week, time. my person will become a fucking teenager from a child. That's it's crazy. True. Where the fuck was? It? <laughs> oh, this one seems very much like Sims Three to me. Oh, okay. Um, because it says. She called yesterday out of nowhere. She wanted me to write a biography about her, and in return, she promised to like me more. Do you remember when you used to get, like, little calls from people that yes. were like, if you do this, you'll get this in return? Yes. I miss The Sims 3. I want to start playing that again, I think. See, in The Sims 4, they'll call you, and they'll be like, I think Should I want to go date? on a date with so-and-so. I and always like, am fucking, just like, fucking do it. And, and then they're want- all- <laughs> Great, cool. Do there's it. like no repercussions. There's no like there's Risk, no consequences. Yeah. yeah, of anything. Sometimes it's like oh, I did it and it wasn't good, and it's like okay, fucking okay. I've literally <laughs> never fuck? had it. No, they're be always. Negative. I always say yeah, go for it because I'm an enabler at my core. <laughs> they're always like that was a great idea. Thanks. Even it was like fucking Father Winter after we fucked was like I want to go on a date and I was like yeah do it bro do it and he's like I had a great time and I'm like I'm so fucking glad <laughs> cool I wish you fucking did and there's a lot of other bugs too where like they'll show you things with your kids maybe or something that's mm. like so and so got in trouble at school should she this this or this mm-hmm. and then I always pick one or the other and then if it's a positive response the next one you want to pick the other one it okay. always is opposite, opposite the next one, which is annoying because it's predictable. But right. Anyways. OK. Um, and in return, she promised to like me more. I'm a sucker for being liked. So I told her I'd write her a biography. It was an honor since she'd done so much with her life, even though she's somehow still in elementary school. <laughs> Which also was the annoying part in Sims 3 was that you would age up, but like the people you had connections with wouldn't. So I'd have like a girlfriend as a teen and then I'd turn into an adult. And you're like, no, great, now I'm a pedophile. <laughs> now I can't, as a young adult, I can't date you anymore. Great. <laughs> but why won't you fucking age up with me, bitch? <laughs> yeah, what we the were the same fuck? age. <laughs> so um, I began with the story of that one time she peed her pants in my house <laughs> and I ended it with a chapter about her about her new set of building blocks i'm so glad that this rekindled our friendship i think i'll invite her over later she can play outside on the swing set while i talk to her about my kids and complain about my job (laughs) (laughs) that seems about right this is a very short one are you ready yeah this actually sounds like something that would happen in my life now (laughs) current like real life yeah kind of my father divorced my mother and married my girlfriend's mother. Now I'm engaged to my girlfriend who was my stepsister. <laughs> that sounds like something someone would send us in a scandals Which episode. Which is just very small town. It's so small town. I feel like we had a scandals episode that was very similar to that toward the beginning. Do, do you remember? You, well, yes. But do you also remember that that's kind of the scenario of teen mom, but also it was 16 and pregnant, Caitlin. And Tyler, they were the ones who gave their baby up for adoption. (gasps) Their parents parents got together after they did as kids and then married each other. And then they were technically. 
They were step siblings who had already had a baby together. <laughs> Is that not the weirdest shit? So like, that's guys, grandma, grandpa. Could you fucking not? Nana, papa, mm-hmm. mommy, auntie, daddy, uncle. Listen, as someone who has had small town, maybe things like that that are like intersecting. Could you just not? <laughs> could you know. just? Could it's- you just? Find other people. <laughs> it's so complicated, but small town, it's small. What am I to do? <laughs> Drive 30 minutes any direction <laughs> and find anything else. Drive into the ocean. <laughs> 30 minutes into the ocean. <laughs> Please. I'm just kidding. Don't actually do that. Don't do that. PSA. I do, and I don't want anyone to do that. No, we don't. But this stop hooking a- up with your fucking family's family <laughs> members, you weirdos. God damn it. I'm talking about the Sims. God damn it. Obviously. I guess. It all started when the toilet broke. Oh, this one's dark. I love when ghosts haunt things and break them. Why do they do that? They're goo. <laughs> they, they like jump into the fridge and all of a sudden the fridge levitates. And they, Has that just- happened in, in, the fo- in Sims 4? Yes. Years? I haven't had any ghosts yet then. Except for my cat who keeps coming back from the dead and playing with my other cat and upsetting my family members because they just cry. And I'm like, it's fine. She's playing with... She's fine. (laughs) She's technically still here. She's good. And they just cry every time she's around. And I'm like, release her to the spirit world. (laughs) For the love of fuck. Anyways, the toilet broke. My husband wasn't able to go to the bathroom and he finally wet himself. He was so embarrassed. He died right on the spot. (laughs) Now I have to pee, but the toilet is broken, and I can't even fix the toilet because the urn is there, and I'm too sad. I'm afraid I just can't go on. You know who just started playing The Sims? Who? Julian. Really? Like, like, like Jenna's Julian. You're fucking joking. I swear. Why did I think that was like a recurring thing that they did? No. no he, ju- he just recently started That's playing The amazing. Sims. And... It was really funny. It, it, it's insane to watch somebody start to play it when it's not something that they grew up with or that they've been playing for a long period of time because it's like, he's, he was like, what it's, the fuck is this? What is this? Well, and it is. Like, <laughs> it's a I, lot. I kind of went into a four like that because I remember when I would get the expansion packs and even like when it would launch that it's like Sims 3 instead of Sims 2, I would go online and download the instructions and the whole Mm. like insert that they would put in every case and i would read it front to back fucking nerd i know (laughs) because i couldn't play the game so i'm like i'm gonna read everything (laughs) about it (laughs) that is nerdy so now that i didn't have to do that with four yeah i've never read anything about it and i feel like i'm going into it fucking blind so i'll do shit where i'm like i'll click something i'm like what the fuck is this option i'm like what why would you do that (laughs) well imagine he's trying to create a sim and also it's trying to build a house it's fun to do blind it well he was like what the fuck is this and he learned how to like size up and size down objects and so he made his bed like really really (laughs) tight Yeah, so it it was really it, it's really comical to watch. Yeah, um, but he he in real life often jokes that Anne Hathaway, Julia Roberts, and Sandra Bullock are all the same person, and so he had three Sims that all looked identical, but he named them <laughs> Sandra Bullock, Julia Roberts, <laughs> and they all give the same Anne energy. Hathaway. I'll tell you that, and. Two of them died. <gasps> and he was like, oh, fuck. Anne Hathaway keeps haunting the toilet. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, true. Dude, what is it about people? Like, what is that inside of me that I get so attached that when my Sims die, I'm like gutted. I have to shut the fucking whole game down and be like, I can't. I am i don't know that I ever even let it get to a point where they're an elder. Well, like, as soon I as they never become have. an adult, I'm like, that's, you're not... No more. That's none of my business. So now that mine is, I'm like, I'm going to see you die. Your children are going to see you die. Because I want to play a generation game. That's a that's always a that's like, what I see. mode that I want to see, see is like a generational mode. There is a, a creator that I watch. Um, his name's James Turner. And he is formerly Sim Supply. 
Nice. And he does, he has like an entire generational, like generation after generation, generation, people of, across all the expansion packs in Sims 4. And how and wild, like, because then you know that like the game plays on. Yes. So then everyone that you know is like core characters when you start, it's generations past. It's like the goths. Bonkers. Which is, I watched somebody's generational play the other day who ended up marrying a goth character. I think it was mm -hmm. Bella or was it the child goth or whatever? Cassandra. Cassandra. That was who it was. And um, to say Bella is with Mortimer no. and then she was <laughs> abducted by aliens. Yes. <laughs> not Bella. Certainly not. Although Bella did have an affair and it was a different, in their game, it was fucking Bella was wild. But Cassandra <laughs> was even worse. But then she had triplets. <gasps> I know, with a trailer park boy, which was so hot and like love that energy. She yeah. was a teen mom because they had, you can have the expansion packs, but then you can also download mods. Uh -huh. And then it's the even more wild gameplay, like just off the fucking rails, anything you can think of, which I don't know how people do that shit. Me neither. You're a genius. And also, why aren't you working for these companies? Because the fact that you can do these and sell the it as mods, a mod. Some of them, they're for free. Wild. The I amount know. that has to go into that. Wild. I don't understand coding. Me. I can't think about it. Dude. It'll upset me. I did it for Zanga a little bit. <laughs> for the backgrounds, I did. I actually knew coding for a little bit I for background Zangas. I did a little bit of coding in one of my like first... Um, technology classes in like junior high yes um the same class that we learned how to like type mm -hmm. they had us make our own website mm -hmm. and i remember i was coding and i made like basketballs fall yes. <laughs> on the background <laughs> yeah. and i was i think you about that now. Are a fucking nerd i know i'm like in get your a own fucking way <laughs> personality outside of sports you nerd part you troy me, bolton ass bitch <laughs> part of me wonders if like i did that because that was the role that i had was probably like, okay, you're an athlete you like basketball make why do you think that's basketball. why i read inserts <laughs> To fucking games I couldn't afford. <laughs> well, that's necessity. I was just playing a role. <laughs> you were problem solving. I was. <laughs> you were. I was imaginating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways. This is fun. So I was married, but then I got interested in a guy. My husband died. Okay. So I thought I was okay to go ahead and start an official relationship with this new man I was flirting with. Uh-huh. However, my husband's ghost has started rumors in town that I'm currently cheating on him. So now all my acquaintances are judging me. <laughs> Am I expected to stay with my dead husband's ghost forever? <laughs> it's really complicating my social life. <laughs> I didn't know ghosts could start rumors. I didn't know that either. But I'm I do know that I, feel I like have like a there's a lot of issues with ghosts. Well, I have and I don't I don't ever Fuck experience them. Because I never let my Sims die. It was enough that my pet died. And now I'm like, this is fucking horrifying. I can't believe this happened. Yeah. I need to be less in it. Do you have dust bunnies? No, I never. I don't have that expansion pack. What? I There's don't know an expansion pack with dust bunnies? <laughs> yes. I don't know if it's like growing together or oh. what. But there's an expansion pack where you can get like dust bunnies and if you don't clean enough <laughs> you get dust bunnies and they break your shit in the middle of the night <laughs> and it's like this it, hey, hey i told you this happens with the fucking gnomes dude fuck the gnomes fuck, fuck the, the gnomes. gnomes i don't like the gnomes i have to give them pie and coffee and toys every fucking harvest fest listen i'm so tired of it but you had never had issues with gnomes like i've had issues with gnomes what do the gnomes do for you they break my shit. They do break your if shit. I don't just please like them. a red halo around them. And then they like sit outside of my bedroom. They, my child's bed. They don't electrocute you and break your stuff? <laughs> no, but they did what? levitate to my child's bed and then had a glowing red halo. So I ran up and gave them a cup of coffee. Because what the fuck do you want from me? <laughs> and then they were fine. They gave me a packet of seeds. Here, have a lovely winter harvest. Listen, <laughs> if I weirdo? try to give them coffee or pie or a gift or whatever the fuck. It doesn't work for you. <laughs> if it's not what they want, 
then no, they electrocute me do and they then they turn, break my shit. Do they turn red first? Yes. You have to try again after they turn I red. I know. And it says appease the gnomes. I yes. try. You don't. I try, but it, it doesn't I work. I appease with every person in my household because I never want to get. They scare me when they turn red like that. They are scary. I don't like Harvest Fest. I'll be the first one to say it. It's not fun. It's not. The holidays. Do you I know wish f- I had less of the seasons. Do you know how fucking long it takes me to pick up all the seed packets that they drop around my fucking house? Like, hey, okay, I don't need four of you in my house, one. And two, I don't need 36 seed packets from each of you. <laughs> and also, I'm not even going to plant these. <laughs> I will never plant these. <laughs> it's too complicated. Get out. Okay, here's another one. Ready? I'm curious about it. I am too. I don't know what Snowflake Day is, but maybe this is... This must be from The Sims 4. So, okay. I thought I'd throw a nice party for Snowflake Day, and I'd invite my family's closest friends. Would well, you call me? <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> you were publicly <laughs> Well, things got a little wild, and one of my older guests died right in front of my youngest son. <laughs> he was so upset. Oh, no. But everyone forgot about it. Four seconds later, when I told them what the real holiday present was, which was a vacation. (gasps) Wow. Surprise. Our vacation was going great until my wife decided to stay in the hot tub too long and she died. (laughs) Which I didn't know you could do. This holiday has left my boys traumatized and motherless. (laughs) Traumatized and motherless. I didn't know in The Sims 4 you could woohoo in the shower. Oh, I, that's how I got pregnant with Father Christmas's daughter. We <laughs> fucked in the shower, dude. Dude. Okay, real talk, real talk. Okay. Life talk, not Sims talk. Okay. How do you feel about shower fucking? Never. Uh, honestly, the worst. I agree. Ick. If anyone has any kind of like advice on that, I don't want I'm it. curious <laughs> because uh, I get it. I'm hot naked or whatever my husband I'm thinks. I'm hot, sweet <laughs> from my head but like, to my feet. I'm all I know is I'm trying to clean myself. Okay, I don't shower. I'm in often. the shower for a reason. I don't shower often as it is. Yeah. So if I'm in there, there's a reason. Yeah. And I can't get it done if you're standing behind me and rubbing up on my boobies and also trying to fucking jack yourself. Yes. Me. And get like, out. I can't kiss you in the water because then it's like in my face and I'm like, I think I'm going to drown. I think I'm going to drown. <laughs> oh, this is bad. None of this is sexy. <laughs> None I hate of it. it. I, me and Corey are both on the same page, so we never try water stuff. Except like if <laughs> maybe we're in a tub together. You feel like going to sleep world or what? <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, if you want to physically take a shower with me, Sure. I do we'll need to clean myself. We'll normally do some like rubbing on each other and then we take it <laughs> to the bedroom. <laughs> yes. That's what I, we'll do. It's not going like, to happen often in the shower. I don't want to, I don't want to even start there. You, well, no. I'm in there for a reason. Yes. <laughs> it's for cleansing only. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Okay. It's not as good as the Sims make us out. <laughs> well, this is another fun one. Okay. Because this says, um... I married a much older man than me. I so married I c- a moose. I married. <laughs> we, don't we don't need, need counseling. counseling. Someone tagged us. <gasps> I saw. Because they're going on tour and they have meet and greets. And like, do we do it? They have meet and greets? They have fucking meet and greets. Do we have any kind of pull from anyone? Because I will fucking lose my goddamn mind. I mean, we could just buy a meet and greet. That's but also, true. I, wanted, I want them to know who we are. <sighs> Can you just know? Just. Me? I could cry and throw Topanga. up. <laughs> if I meet Topanga, Sean, and fucking Wilfred L. Yeah. You don't even have to say this. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I will. I'm, I'll shite my droid. Droids? I will I'll, shit out I a will droid. shit <laughs> my droid right the fuck out. Oh, anyway, they are coming to Pittsburgh. That's pretty close. When? I don't know. I have to look at the fucking thing. As long as it's after my wedding, I'm down Why for literally at your wedding. anything. <laughs> uh, well, you know what is during my wedding in fucking Canton? Hmm. There's like a, a fest. Hold on. I have to see what it is. Hold on. 1015 is Pittsburgh and 1013 is Cleveland. That's right around the time my sister's giving birth. Fuck. And what? 1013 is Cleveland and 1015 is Pittsburgh. Ah, Randy's going to have to understand. 
she, she, and she would. Yes, she would. She should have her baby by then. 100%. Yeah. I'm going to need her to. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to call the doctor to induce. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take her out, get her some spicy food, rubber <laughs> nipples, whatever I need to do. <laughs> I'm not going to rub my sister's nipples. Stop being fucking weird. Don't be a fucking weird. <laughs> I'm going to tell her to do it. New Wave Nation. Is this it? This is it. Okay, you ready? What it is? New Wave Nation? No. Hold on. I was like, bitch, that's a like a local musician. <laughs> no. no. Where are you? You stupid. Where son are you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. The Ying Yang Twins. That was a tequila music fest. That's what it says. Oh, I'm not wrong. Line up. <laughs> Ying Yang Twins, Twista, Two Chains, Rick Ross, T.I. Bitch, on my wedding day in Canada, I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> I'm fucking fuming. You have to cancel. I have to. Let me say it again for you one more time. Ying Yang Twins, Twista, Two Chains, Rick Ross, T.I. Rough. <laughs> I'm fucking pissed. You made a big ass mistake. They just announced it. After I plan my wedding, you would almost think that they did it on purpose. Can we get someone to like show up for you? Oh, you would think, <laughs> <laughs> but rarely no. I'm mad as fuck. <laughs> as you should be. Could they be change like, it to your fame. wedding? <laughs> the, the location? <laughs> Can we? <laughs> Just have so many people showing up. Yeah. yeah, I'm really fucking mad. September 23rd, 2033 at the Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium in Canton. Fuck you. <laughs> Okay, sorry, you can take all that out. You, mean? you can take all that out. Okay. I married a man much older than me, so I could have a baby. Mm. And then when he you got- couldn't have one when he, like with someone the same age? I don't know. Whatever. And then when he got old, I woohooed him four times in a row to attempt to have him die from overexertion. <laughs> Which I guess you can do to elders. Did it work? But when it finally happened, I felt bad because my son has no father now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey they don't know they can't miss what they never had you know Th- they saying? do though it's the thing they have those moodlets where it's like missing a daddy <laughs> <laughs> i miss my daddy i never knew my father <laughs> they just show bruce <laughs> that's the moodlet oh fuck he's got the bruce moodlet <laughs> he's got the never knew his father moodlet. <laughs> oh. okay ready mm-hmm I like when they're angry and they walk really hard. They just stomp around. Okay, so I have a teen. I, my my Sim who had a science baby had a boy. Kind of had boy. a baby as a boy. <laughs> <laughs> and like, he's a fucking dick <laughs> to me. For no reason, we'll be like, has a vendetta against the Sim. And I click it and it's me. And he's mad at me for being his mom. Which I get it. I have an evil trait. Susu me. <laughs> Susu. I love mischief. <laughs> So, so, I love mischief. But he's mad at me, and I gave him a great childhood. I took him fucking snowboarding. I took him you on have so that many. One? Oh, yeah, I do. That's where we live, Fuck. is in the snowboarding town, and everything is like Japanese culture. It's yes. so fucking zen and good. Damn. My house is tit. So, anyway, I wish I would have gotten that one over the university one because I, I realized. That all I wanted was the solo shower. Yes. So that I could make custom showers. And I wish I would have just in, done the ski one then. The ski one's fun because I took I my son on a vacation to a ski lodge and then we skied all day together. We built snow angels. We had snowball fights. We built a snow angel. We <laughs> built snowmen. We, we had snow angel happenings. <laughs> Okay. And then and then, you know, <laughs> Gucci died. <laughs> and so we had to go home and ruin our fucking time. But anyways, and like they'll have those moments if you look at your sim profile, it'll have like do you know that? If you open your Sims profiles, there will be like sentiments. Yes. And for me it said like gave blank a good childhood uh-huh. is one of my sentiments so i'm like fuck you bitch and his I give you, is like is like fuck, fuck my, my mom, mom. <laughs> for what dude i'm a single fucking parent i fucked santa claus one time to get your sister <laughs> so you could have a friend i'm sorry it took too long he wouldn't accept my advances for a really long time <laughs> yeah, doing my best like, what is wrong with you sorry Ungrateful. you're super flirty literally he interacts with his mom and then he'll get flirty vibes and i'm like what's happening <laughs> Ew. You fucking creep. Yeah. So yeah, I'll never play with him. He's a fucking weirdo. 
but I am making him go to college for psychology because he needs to figure some shit out. He needs to figure himself out. I'm not your therapist, bitch. I'm your mother. <laughs> Anyways, this one's called a proud father, <laughs> which my kid lacks. Because he's a science baby. He's mad at me for that, apparently. (laughs) One of my Sims couples was expecting their first child. I guess the husband got a little too excited because he got in the car and drove to the hospital without his wife, who then gave birth at home alone. (laughs) (laughs) You'd think that the husband would come home after he realized his mistake. No. (laughs) He proceeded to flirt with a random lady carrying her newborn child out of the hospital. He's like, you must be mine. (laughs) I know someone's supposed to have a baby. most men around the world. (laughs) She started to flirt back. Her (gasps) husband got angry. My sim husband went home only to ignore his wife and his new child. And now my sims are divorced. (laughs) (laughs) That's sad when that happens. I'll tell you what a fun thing for me to do is really let my Sims take over Uh, because the game will just do game things. Yeah. And like, it's almost like our own scandal episodes, but Mm -hmm. like in game form. Like, what do you do? Like, what the fuck are you doing? D signer. Okay. (laughs) She started fucking around with Brant Hecking. Yes. And that's when like the the game. Dark haired beard. Yes. The game was like convinced to leave spouse. So I did. And like he left his spouse <gasps> and now he's married. Time to out. Me. Because I tried that when, when it didn't work. my Sim had two of his motherfucking babies, twins. And she also had a baby with, uh, with Brent. Brent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought it would be fun if I made her fuck both of them. Okay. But with the second one, she got pregnant with twins. And so she had all three babies at home, home birth with a midwife, because I have that mod. Uh And then she kept inviting him over to be like, come see your babies. Yeah. She tried to convince him. And he was like, I'm a happily married man. Huh? What? He left Brent for for D. D (laughs) And then when he would go to work to be a a, uh, personal therapist? No. Personal. Personal trainer. Trainer. (laughs) Personal. (laughs) I was like, what do they do? What do they do? Uh, when he would leave to go be a personal trainer, she would invite over Bray <gasps> Cup. <laughs> and Bray, she Who had an affair. Who the fuck was Bray? You made that person? I did. You're she a piece of shit. Big old boobies. <gasps> she was a curvaceous, beautiful, busty. What color hair? You know what color hair. Brunette? Nope. Red? Nope. Blonde? She was a blonde. Why are you into blondes, you weirdo? I don't We have know. a very different type. I don't Because I love a brunette. I don't oh, know. Oh, do I love a brunette? I think, I think if I'm picturing someone who's curvaceous and busty, she's blonde. I think I have a Pam You're Anderson bad. thing. I was like, it's a Barbie thing. <laughs> I, have, I, I think I have a, a Baywatch thing. No, I get that. <laughs> okay, I do understand that. that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, but- but I was just fucking around with Bray. I didn't want to be with Bray because at Brant's core, he was just a great guy and we had a really solid foundation. Except that he left his husband. That's true. <gasps> but no, I know. But they they worked on their stuff. They did. There was a lot of things that popped up that were like, I, I've, I fear that I've not been close with my partner. And I'm like, that's right, because you've been <laughs> with someone else. And so, this, but you left them. You stopped playing them? No, I I just moved them to a new house. I built them a new house. It makes no sense. So you're in playing the city that they're in right okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. Here's a question I have for you: When you start a new a new game, do you play a totally new game, or do you just add new Sims to the game you've already played I've and start no, playing them? I have no idea. Are those Sims that you created already still in your Sim story? Yeah. With your new Sims? So you don't create a new game. Because I always create a new I think game I and create it starts a new me game. at the very beginning. But then nothing that you created before would be in there. Well, depends. Because I, <laughs> I do both. Because Bray, I created to be yes. in the story with Actively, yes. yes. But... Like Laird Ruggs, he's in a different story. <laughs> and Liz Anya, she's also in a different okay, story. Okay, okay, okay. So that's different than what you... So you just left those people to now be with Liz Anya. 
lasagna is different. Yeah, but that's who you're actively playing now. Well, it depends. You on go what back and forth. I go back and forth. <gasps> I never. How do you get to them? How do I get to them? I just scroll down and I click on them in my save file. You're gonna have to show me how to do it <laughs> because every time I start a new game, I'm like, goodbye to my old ones <laughs> forever. Buy, you don't exist anymore. I don't know. Just gotta scroll. I feel like this was necessary because I've definitely sobered up. Good, I have it. <laughs> I've gone the opposite, which is fine. Here we go. Popularity contest. Mm. I killed four of my ex best friends today. <laughs> At first, they thought I was joking, asking them to chat in the basement. I kept them down there until they starved to death. They had it coming. I'm the star of the group. <laughs> oh my god! Four best friends in the game, or four best friends in general, in the, like in the game. Because I'll tell you, growing up, I created many a real life person. Hey, me and my best friend Shelby at the time. Shelby, if you listen, I don't know if you do. I love you still to this day. We don't talk, but we used to play The Sims together, and we would create so many high school people that we would mm. fuck up. <laughs> So at one point we made a girl that we didn't like in high school. We created us and our husbands, who were our boyfriends at the time. We put us all in a house together. We had her flirt with our boyfriends in front of us, and then we just beat the fuck out of her <laughs> every day, and then put her in a small room where she died. By her. <laughs> oh my god! And then we had a little window, and we would go and like fuck in front of it. I used you know who I used to play The Sims with is the same person I stole biggest BSer from. Abby. Oh, no, you didn't. I did. Abby and I would play The Sims together all the fucking time. You're lying because, Abby, you and I were friends, but then we weren't. Let's talk about it (laughs) because I feel like you like my stuff now. We could be friends now. (laughs) But, like, why didn't you play The Sims with me? That was my shit. I can remember being in her upstairs, like, den area. Like, it was like a little... It was a really small room with just a desk and a computer. And I think her sister's like attic room was like right off of that. Um, but yeah, her and I would play oh, The Sims. Furious about that. And I remember making um, like guys that were in our grade. Yes. But then also <laughs> there was one teacher who I made. <laughs> of course. Listen. Are you going to bleep that name out? Yeah. Okay. Because if you do, I just want you to say. That he used to come over to my house because that man. Listen, he was friends with beautiful. My dad worked for the schools. He still so does. He, he still does. And so he would have teachers over, and I didn't know they would come over f- for poker games. And I'd come out, and I was in full like my pajamas, and I'd be like, <gasps> my my crush, <laughs> like, oh, my, my my innocence is like, on display. <laughs> he, like he's gonna care that I'm on my checkered pajama pants and quaker tea <laughs> yep but anyways um yeah the, i believed <laughs> that that man <laughs> eventually was gonna want to be with me yeah okay i was 11 would 12. you still i haven't i'll have to look him up and let you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> because i would say yeah. <laughs> that that man i have and Yes. <laughs> He's a beautiful, beautiful specimen. So pretty. <laughs> and a lot of trauma. A lot of trauma in his life, which means tears, mm. which means hot. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> which He's means- wet. I'm wet. Everybody's wet. <laughs> I'm into it. Everybody's wet, wet. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Agreed. Here's a fun one. Okay, yesterday I tried to have a birthday party for my sweet birthday. Little, a birthday party for my sweet little baby Jigglypoof. <laughs> <laughs> and when she tried to blow out the candles, the house caught on fire. <gasps> the house is always catching on fire. Like, what the fuck is your problem? Do you remember when I just texted? Uh, I literally said, <laughs> I hadn't played The Sims in so fucking long because of everything going on in my life. Yeah. And I sent you a message saying, I think I'm going to play The Sims. <laughs> 10 minutes later, I created a full fucking sim profile, everything, and create a sim. Moved her into a an apartment in the city, and she fucking caught fire <laughs> within 10 minutes. Not even. Maybe five minutes of playing. She catches fire on her first meal. <laughs> the Grim Reaper comes. She's dead. <laughs> She's done. She's they- Katniss Everdeen catching fire. 
But they offered me. They were like, that was your only sim. Do you want to try again? I was like, yeah, I do. So now she re-upped. <gasps> new person. That's who's my elder now. Oh. She got a new chance at life. But she's except, old. But now she's an, old, an elder. Yeah. I, oh. But I played her full life. Anyways. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. A firefighter came over and she seemed so nice. So I decided that maybe we could hang out for a little bit <laughs> after the fire. I know where that's going. She seemed... No, you don't. She oh. seemed a little. <laughs> she seemed a little bit obsessed with my baby, but I didn't think anything of it. Maybe she just likes kids. Anyways, I needed to go to the store, so I called a babysitter. When I came home, the baby was stinking, crying, and about to starve to death because the firefighter would not stop picking up the baby and playing with her. <laughs> The babysitter tried, but she couldn't get near the baby because I think she was scared of the fire. Hundred <laughs> percent, that's not where I thought that was going. <laughs> You're like, oh, I know where this is going. I was like, no, nope, you don't. Sure I don't. promise. Oh, there's there's one more that Speaking I like. Speaking of firefighters, I was driving here today, and there was a whole ass fire truck outside of a house, and there were four firefighters in the lawn. And there was just a fan in the doorway of this house. And I was like, I feel like you guys will need to be here for that. I'm not sure what happened that led up to the fan. But you guys I are probably good. <laughs> it's handled now. <laughs> if you're all in agreement that that's the solution, you can go you home. You can probably go. <laughs> I don't know. The I mic. think maybe get I the like I'm watching my tax dollars burn. Not that I care. That's what I feel about. <laughs> oh my god, Corey! One time, <laughs> burn his fucking hand <laughs> trying to make potato <laughs> because he doesn't know how to cook, and he thought he could. <laughs> and he worked for nights, and it was like six in the morning, so I was sleeping. Mm -hmm. And he turned on. Oh my god, this idiot! <laughs> <laughs> he decided to try to cut potatoes to make like. Mm. Early breakfast hash brown scallop <laughs> potatoes. Early breakfast hash brown. Cheesy. As opposed to. Right? So many, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. So he sprinkles the olive oil in the pan and turns it on high. Hi. Wrong. <laughs> wrong ho. Hey, wrong. <laughs> Don't put fucking a lot of oil in a pan and then turn it on high and then throw a bunch of potatoes into it because guess what happened when he dropped Flashback. those potatoes in? The hot oil splashed onto his hand and fucking burnt the shit out of it. Mm. This was years ago because he's an idiot. <laughs> and we had a big, he came up and he was like, I think I need to go to the hospital. And I was like, is our house on fire? What's happening? Yeah. But that reminded me because he just put a bunch of fans out because it smelled like burning flesh in the house for, Ew. for so long. <laughs> Ew. He didn't go to the hospital, but he was burnt severely. <laughs> it healed. Anyway, last one. I came upstairs and found a neck beard. <laughs> just this man with a neck beard. Ew. I know. Ew. Quintessential. I live in my mother's basement and I'm a fucking incel. Crushing a little kid's dollhouse while he cried. As you come upstairs in your own home, why are you doing that? You Part fucking of me weirdo? wonders, like, hey, what's going on in your game? Because that has never <laughs> like just spontaneously <laughs> happened in mine. That's what I'm saying. So that's why I'm like, how are you guys having such? Sometimes that's I watch jarring. Plumbellas, and I'm like, how does this fucking <laughs> wild shit happen in yours? What am I missing? I what know. do I have to fucking click off of my game <laughs> to make this shit happen? Anyways. I know. Naturally, I yelled at him, and we ended up in a physical fight. <laughs> Naturally. I won, and then I went downstairs, and I slept with his wife twice, and now she's my girlfriend. <laughs> You're here. I came back upstairs and saw the neckbeard still standing by the dollhouse 40 hours later. <laughs> That's a long time in The so Sims. Long. You're standing there. Did you ever have in the... I'm sorry. Because there's... Hold on. I'll say this last one. I gave him some relationship advice, and I think that we're okay now. <laughs> have you ever had in the newest one? So I have me and my two children. Uh -huh. One has a big kid's room. One has uh -huh. a little kid's room. Cause uh -huh. they're... And the big teenager, who is a boy and can't control his fucking emotions, which is not like the world at all. <laughs> not close so to reality at all. Unrealistic. Will just go into the little girl's room and start punching her fucking... <laughs> Her stuffed bear. 
Oh just my like, gosh. He's just fucking Can unloading just on it. give him his own bear? I tell him to go jogging. I say, go, <laughs> go Don't jog. Don't jog. <laughs> so every time he gets upset, I say, go jog to relieve anger or yeah. sadness or whatever. He cries about the dead cat a lot. And I'm like, you didn't even know that cat that well. You barely interacted with that I'm cat. I'm trying to gaslight you. But, but like, like, relax like, about the cat. <laughs> yeah, especially. I think you're just trying to find a reason to be upset. <laughs> I think you're just trying to find a reason to fight this bear. <laughs> and he does. Like, calm down. Damn. Well, Anyways, do you guys like that? <laughs> you know what's crazy? Let me hmm. look at my, let me look at my calendar. Don't. Is it about the wedding? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to be sick. Suck. So, suck. Let me see. Let me see what the day is. Mm-hmm. It's September, everybody. <laughs> so I said that joke the other day. No, you didn't. September? September was my joke. Well, it was off of me ordering <laughs> soup in September. <laughs> you ordered soup. And you're like, I know it's 90 degrees. And I go, but it's September. Did you try to take my fucking joke? I do want to say that I definitely gave you the assist. Look at me. This is a volleyball move, and I assisted you. <laughs> okay, sure. You can have credit for ordering soup. <laughs> I was Thank just going to do some, some fun math here. So this is going to come out on the 12th, okay? Which means we have one more episode to record before your wedding. I'm sick. What is it going to be? You guys tell us in the comments below. What do you want, what it, to do you want it to be? Because the one that's coming out on the 26th is already recorded. <laughs> it is. That's so. the truth. So tell us what you want as the last one before our wedding. Yes. Before our wedding. <laughs> I'm going to get married. <laughs> married. Yeah. Anyway, um, thanks so much for hanging out, you guys. Uh, let us know if you've got any Sims stories. Or don't. I don't. Whatever. You (laughs) You love me so much. We'll see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye.